Back in 2000, I came across uh, a test from Forbes magazine, and this test is called, Do You Have What It Takes to Become a Billionaire? And, you know, in one of the sections of this test, you know, I was, you know, surprised that, uh, okay, am I going to be one of them? And uh, I just want to test that I have that mentality requirement or not to become a billionaire. And in this test, you know, there was one section that called 40 Q. It says, do you really believe in the 40 Q formula? And I was, was thinking, what the heck is 40 Q formula? And the 40 Q formula is what? It says, do you believe that you work 40 hours a week? for 40 weeks in a year and for 40 years for the rest of your life. I <laughs> said, so, oh my gosh, that's life. That's my dad's. That's my mom's. That's my uncle's. That's, that's everybody's life. But of course, no matter you are in your own business or you're self-employed or you're working for somebody else, you also spend this 40 times 40 times 40 formula. And do you believe that you can apply this formula to make your life a successful one? To me, I say no, I don't believe in this. And I shared this story you know, with one of my friends and some of them agree with me that they don't believe too. So I see that everybody disagree with this. They don't believe in 40Q formula. People my age, they don't believe in this anymore. But some people still have this belief because that belief is what? Because this is the limited option. They said they got no choice. What choices do they have? They might, they might say that and I, I think, of course they do have choices. But because sometimes you admit those choices too early and you rejected so many choices. And that's why they come up with one choice, 40Q formula. So today, if you, if, you, if you understand what I'm trying to tell you, you will say, if you're the one looking for something else rather than 40Q formula, you better listen and try to find out what we're trying to tell you. And then during my transition from high school to college, I came across one of the very great books during those times. This book is called Cash for Quadrant. Of course, Robert Kiyosaki has been around for, I think, over a decade, and he wrote so many great books by, you know, with uh, New York Times bestseller, you know, titles, things like this. And a lot of network marketing companies are now using these books to tell people what the business is all about. But to me, back, you know, 10 years ago, I never heard of network marketing companies, not any of them. I never know what it is. So this book came to me as a fresh book. It was the number one selling book in Amazon.com. And I bought this book and I read. And I came across this one very important idea of transforming yourself from the left side of the quadrant to the right side of the quadrant. Or getting free or getting retired. To be able to have your own asset is the key element of having a very successful life. Because a lot of people are working for somebody else. And that's jobs. Jobs create active income. Businesses create active income. But assets create passive income. So I was looking for ways to have the asset. And then Robert Kiyosaki talked about three choices. He said, I still remember this very clearly just like yesterday. He said that having your own system build it up and then normally take 20 years or a generation to finish if you finish and second buy somebody else's system buy a franchise oh that's gonna be costly but of course it's a good choice and the third choice is start a network marketing company and here comes the deal you know what these three choices that I have I paid more attention all my attention resources on the first two and then one day, look at this number three, the third choice, network marketing company. And then I Google it, and Amway company shows up. And I was wondering, oh my gosh, Amway? Amway is a direct selling company? I think I heard it first time from my mom's neighbor. And people talk about Amway business like a direct selling company. To me, I wasn't negative. I wasn't positive. I just feel blank. I have no idea what it is. And then, one thing that strikes me is, but if Amway is a direct selling company, but what does it you know, get anything to do with having an asset? Amway is somebody else's company, not my company. I'm not buying a franchise, but why I need Amway company? So then I decided to trust, not in myself, but in Robert Kiyosaki. He talked about network marketing, 
my job is to go find out what it is, not just to make my own decision about what it is. Because if you know what it is, I think you're already in it. But the reason you're not in it, I think probably because you still don't know what it is, or you thought you knew. Today I will tell you more, and we want to make sure that we can communicate this idea to you, that what this business is all about. So then I call and I email the Amway Thailand website. And then a couple of days later, a call center lady called me, the staff of Amway, and she, she told me that I can't sign up because she said I need an upline. Because in this business, nobody can sign up without an upline. And that was the first time I heard about this terminology of an upline. And to me, it was weird, you know, upline, what the heck is that? <laughs> and, and, and okay, I still remember those funny feelings, but of course, I got through. I got through this word. But sometimes a lot of people just say no to things that they never heard of. I never heard of upline, but hell with that, I don't care. I just want to get to know what it is. Then, the lady said that uh, she will let somebody tell me about the Amway business, not the company, because the Amway company got no choice or no rights to tell me what to do. But the upline or the distributor who sponsors me can tell me. But I don't have those people, so the company asked for my zip code, and then I gave them 10300, and then a couple of days later, a doctor couple called me. This couple, a husband is an eye doctor, he's an eye doctor, and the wife is a child doctor. They both are the person who made me understand what Amway is. So I spent two hours with, with them at the Sofitel Central Hotel in downtown Bangkok. I listened to them, and I understand, oh yeah, I got it now. Why Amway is an asset? Then I know Amway is an asset, it's a network asset. It's a type of an asset. Of course, hard to believe, hard to understand, but just like any other things, we got so many things that we don't understand. So one Amway is just one of them. But then, and that day, two hours, I understand what Amway is. So I decided, okay, it's a good business, just like Robert Kiyosaki said, and I believe it's a good business. And to me, I signed up that day. The first day I met my, my sponsor that day, I signed up instantly. And then, um, and that was the last time I met them. Because to me, I think it's a good business, one of them. And my choices, I have a top 10 list. So I have a 10 list of what I, can, what I want to do to create wealth. And Amway is on the, template, on the top 10 list also, but on the number 10. So number one, I have real estate, I have private equity funds, I have the finance services, financial services. I have all those choices. So I never pay attention about Amway business for two years. That's when I was 19. And then by the age of 21, turning 22, Amway came to me again, again, again through my brother. And this time my brother spent so much effort in making me understand what Amway is. And I told my brother, I knew what it is. Just like some of you now, you might know what it is. But I never know how good it is and what it can be done with this business to fulfill my life purpose. And this time, my brother made a very good impression on telling me what it is. He brought me to some meetings. I attended some meetings. I have no bad feeling about attending meetings because I see some people have big problem attending meetings. To me, I always go to meetings. Whether it's going to be my carrier or not my carrier, I always attend meetings. Just want to check it out. You should go to the meeting to check it out. I went there. You know what I found out? So many people, you know, clap their hands and uh, talking about products and everything. But what I was wondering is, why those people, you know, got so much time to do this business? They should be doing something else. And you know what? And to me, what I can tell you is, if we are in this business, just to sell products, buying some things for cheaper and sell for more, we wouldn't be in the Amway business. Why, why, why you, if, if we want to make profit, why we sell soap? Why we sell neutralized supplement or skincare from artistry? Of course, they make good profits. But still, if you're in this business just to make profit, I think we should be selling houses, cars, or airplanes. We make more margins. But why we don't do that? Because this business is not just about selling things. It's just about how you can cultivate the next asset revolution. If you only understand what I mean, you will see what I see. It's all about vision. I've seen this vision and I think anyone can see it. It's just simple, but you just need a very right person to tell you what it is. And I'm sure that the person who gives you this DVD 
is the right person to try to tell you what is the professional way of looking at this and how to make this possible for you. Amway is good to me, then what? Amway is great to me, then what? But what Amway can make you good and what Amway can make you great, I think that is a very good question. And this DVD, we spend millions. We spend a lot of time, a lot of research, a lot of manpower to make this DVD, just to make sure that you understand what we understand. So what I can tell you today is pay attention. God bless you and good luck.